I think I just found something quite cool down here. What is it though? It's bone. It's in this section of cliff. I think it's fish. Quite a large fish. There's some bone over there as well. Ooh, so the question is, how are we going to get this out? I think the best thing to do is just make note of the location and come back with something to dig with. I've only got my small pick here and that's not going to be enough to dig this out. But the bone's in beautiful condition. Really beautiful. The tide's already coming in. So this is going to be covered very soon. Hopefully it lasts another tide. I don't think it will. It's cold and wet. It's cold and soaked. Let's get this back home. Nap and breakfast and a coffee. Goodness me.
This is a fish jaw, and that's the top of the skull, I think, over there. This is the one I rescued from the tide. <laughs> it wasn't going to last long at all. Look how soft the sediment is. You can just scrape away at it. So it's not in a concretion like it normally is. And I think what I'm seeing over here is, um, I think that's the jawbone going there. That's definitely a tooth there and there. So fairly large teeth that we've got there. And then over here, we've got a really large bone. Let me just find the name again. I've got a book here. I'll show you now what it is. Uh, actually, I'll put a PDF version of it. It's uh, free to download. I'll put it as a link on this video. So it is the articular. I think that's the articular bone over there. Arti this is the articular bone, this one over here. And then it's joining up with the jaw going over there. And if you look at my example fish, let me just go down somewhere. I think we're looking at this bone, the articular, and then going into the bottom jaw. We're just looking at upside down over here. So yeah, those bones over there. And then we've got them on this fairly large fish. Because this site is very young, it's a Pleistocene or a, a Pliocene site. They should be quite similar to the archaeological sites. And this book has got some really nice sketches, which I'm trying to use to identify what fish that is. Thanks so much for watching everyone, I appreciate it. It was a classic adventure. We had some cold, bad weather. We had to go fetch a heavy fossil and we did a quick prep. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back and finish the prep. It should be pretty easy, I think. Hopefully I'll finish it this weekend and then I'll upload the video in two or three days uh, after I've edited it together. Hopefully after I finish the prep, we can figure out what fish it is and whether it's a unique one for this area or whether it's been found before. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next hunt.